Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey from Ripe Color. And this is Nancy Jean in the garden. And we are here. Uh, we are here every week. And we read uh, as the weekly wanderings. We read on the energies of the week. The five energies that we read on are body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity. I read five tarot cards. Nancy Jean reads five stones in the garden. We uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Please become members of our respective channels. We both offer physical goods in the physical world. We uh, we both also offer readings, by the way. But we both offer physical goods in the physical world on our respective websites. Nancy Jean has grids. She has gardens. She has eggs available for purchase. I have lovely scarves, t-shirts, pocket squares, etc., handmade by Moi mm -hmm. available, uh, for purchase on my website. Um, this is this reading. I should have said it earlier is for November 27th through December 2nd. And I hope it's not very cold in the United States and Canada. Where well, all the other people are freezing and you're sitting in and very you know, whoever Mexico's else is watching in a cold climate, I hope it's not cold. <laughs> okay. And uh, when we offer readings, we offer readings that are things you want to know now. Pa I do past life readings and other sorts of things so whatever or go visit my garden because i use i usually try to do two lives a week <clears throat> and talk about the other things i do so so if you weekly isn't enough you're here okay ready to go All right, I'm not even going to look at the stones. This is like one of the most hopeful cards in the deck, actually. Yeah. That's my outfit. Mm -hmm. So this, I mean, this is the three. So three is creativity. This is really like having that expectation and knowing that things are going to be really clear and really bright and really hopeful and really expansive and really um, your ships are coming in. You know they're coming in. You're, you're excited and you know you're ready to move forward into your future like a little mini wish card this one right it's it like i i just know what's going to happen i just know there's an optimism to this card that's really lovely that's body mm -hmm. and then comes mind and mind you know this is really a card of healing of intuition of being offered a gift of offering a gift it's a lovely, um, and it's about taking action on it. So this is really about, you know, taking action on reaching out toward, or people reaching out, reaching toward you in this loving, kind, intuitive, um, gift-giving way. Mm -hmm. And then spirit, you know, I get this card. So, you know, honestly, the other cards are really, really positive. So, you know, a lot of times this is seen as heartache, heartbreak, blah, blah, blah. But it's also a three. It's my second three. And threes are about creativity. And sometimes, you know, these things that happen in our lives that are less than pleasant, like they inform us and they kind of they they kind of push us forward. They kind of push us forward. And I feel like here, you know, he's 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 ready to move into the future. It's like, yeah, this happened, but I'm ready to move into the future. And like I'm letting that go because I've allowed myself to like accept it and be healed through it intuitively body mind spirit grounding because i'm really really clear-headed and i you know i know i always see him as a surgeon so he has this energy of like i'm just going to cut out what's unnecessary you know sometimes you know somebody hurts your feelings or something happened and it's like you know what i'm gonna let it i'm just gonna either like let it run under the bridge right it was like a bad moment or it's like, or I'm just going to let it go. But it's, it doesn't, I don't have to carry this burden with me. Like, that's what I'm getting. Because I've got things to do. I have mm -hmm. things, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, 
secure in myself. I'm secure in my body. I'm secure in my thoughts. I'm secure in my finances. I'm secure in this the time that I spend doing the things that I want to do in the physical world. So this little hiccup, this little sort of, you know, oh, someone said something mean or something like that. It's like, yeah, you know, it's information, but it's not going to uh, ruin my week, right? Because I have, I have fish, I have bigger fish to fry. That's what I get. Okay, that's it's a wonderful reading, and we're going to start at the top. We're going to start in the crown chakra, the enlightenment, and what we have in enlightenment is our value stones, our grounding stones, the pyrite stone, and it says. This week you will have the, the confidence to connect your abilities and all of your energies. You know, it's one thing to say I could do this, but this week you're going to have the confidence to pull all that energy together. The next stone is the mind stone, which fell in true. Yay. Yay. And positive thoughts will help you manifest. So think about this one. Think about this one. You've got when you're when you're manifesting to your positive abilities, where do you go? Well, now you get to clarity, body, and spirit. We're going to start with spirit. Spirit's between earth and air. And when spirit's in air, it's transforming your thinking. And when it's in earth, it's transforming but not yet finished, which would tie together with it saying you need to have the confidence to pull your own thoughts forward. Your body is in air, and that means that you need to ground your thoughts, keep them in the real plane, keep them grounded on real things. Don't do a lot of daydreaming. And then clarity is in both fire and water. And when clarity is in um, fire, it's use ideas from your past to carry on to new solutions. And then this is a movement forward. And when clarity is there, it says, use your life, your own life force to resolve your pers the situations around you. So this is going to be a week when you have to take care of yourself, do what you need to do, and have confidence that yourself knows where it's going. Yeah, I think it sounds really good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we have two kings. We have the three. We have two threes. And, two yeah, and you don't have anything on mine or on yours that shows that someone is being oppressive or anything else. You know, it's really sad when you realize there's a solution out there and it's you. <laughs> Nobody's going to come in and fix you. So this is a week where you're going to have a low, whole lot of things roll together in a very clear way, and you're going to be able to move forward. Beautiful. Have a good, have a good, uh, and uh, first of December time, and we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.